I'm not, Jake just said I can. Um, there's, I'm about to introduce somebody that uh, this show wouldn't be possible if not for his um, attention to it and all my emails and phone calls. Uh, giving me too much credit. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Leon Grandy. Journey back to Drake it and uh, helping us out once again. Can we have a big round? Yeah. And I would like to announce uh, to Scott and to Bob that this year we have um, decided that the Booster Scholarship will be named the Scott Grimes Bob Guinea. Uh, scholar, music scholarship, uh, this will be our major scholarship that goes to a, um, a senior who's graduating, so we share with you. Thank you very much, we really appreciate that. We have two alums here, uh, Brian Nguyen and Neil Forsey who um, graduated the same year I graduated, 2011. <laughs> I should say the, first, the, the same year that I retired the first time. <laughs> I met Scott in 1981, back at middle, what was middle school's Brookside now, what was the middle school, and I was a new teacher. It was my first year teaching here in Drakeit, and I was 27. I know it's hard to believe I was ever 27, but I was 27. <laughs> And uh, Scott was, I don't know, eight or nine probably, and um, he had this magnificent voice. He had this, had this light about him. Me, everybody had, who came, came by him. There was no question he was going to be an amazing a force in the entertainment. And what happened, right? Today. What? Where did it all go wrong? Mr. Wow. Bill Pagonis, who was the principal, he would say, can you get that little redhead kid come out here and sing something? <laughs> so I would, I would play the piano and Scott would sing from his repertoire like Tomorrow from Annie and, and various songs. I actually have to say something real quick. We only have a couple more songs, guys, I swear. Um, the, my, this is a very strange story that I've really never told before. And it really doesn't have a great ending, but, <laughs> you still with me? But it's the first music story that I can remember. This was asked to me recently somewhere. Kelly Ronson probably knows the story. But uh, I was at, where did Mrs. Boyer teach? Where was that? Greenmont. Greenmont Avenue. And I had sung the night before at a Christmas party or something the first time. And uh, some of the, the principal of the school, or, or Mrs. Boyer herself, or some of the teachers had been there and listened. So I get summoned to the principal's office the next day to sing in front of everybody. <laughs> So it's me going to the principal's office, I got a little pass, and I go, and there's about seven teachers there, and I sing. The first time I really ever sung in public, besides my parents' house, you know. And I walk out after doing my thought, oh, just saying all these people. And there was a, you know this? And there was a kid there. Now, telling the story, he was like 40. But he was really like three grades ahead of me, or two grades, right? Because that school had a bunch of grades. And he would stop me in the hall, and I'm, you know, not that I'm any bigger now. Uh, and he, he goes, hey, were you just singing for the teachers? I said, yeah. And he took my head and he smashed it into the cement. <laughs> <laughs> I, I swear to God. And I had this egg that you could see. <laughs> that is my first music story. <laughs> So don't get any ideas after. If you like the show, please, a hug, maybe. Like a hug or a handshake, my boy. Sorry, man, I have to tell you. Get it off my chest, finally, right? We're glad you were on the last of that. Yeah, yeah no, it's still probably his car. <laughs> All right, well, Leon's gonna sing a song for us that I, uh, I just love this song. I'm so glad that you sing it, and uh, you have such a beautiful voice. Oh, you're not on. Oh, oh I'll try to hand you the stage. Yeah.